Right. It's, well, maybe let him read my book. But that's that's what I'm saying. It's like you know, it's like an aid. If he admires somebody, you know, like a lot of kids will come to me all the time. Man, I want to be a rapper, right? My daughter, for one, she wants to be in show business. I said, why don't you be an entertainment lawyer? She, you know, and sing. And then she was like, ah, daddy. I said, I dropped the contract on her. I said, read that. I want you, you know, can you do it? Now, if you don't read that, and then I showed her how much I paid my lawyers every year. I said, that could be your money. So, it's, you know, you just got to come up with ways. But, you know, if he admires whatever, hopefully he doesn't admire some deadbeat person. You know, I mean, if he looks up to anybody, you have to connect that with college. You know, you have to connect that. Anybody who he's looking up to, or he's got to have somebody he looks up to. You know, I didn't go to college, but if I had a, you know, I would be able to, you know, make more money and do better things with better people. I'm reading college level books right now, trying to do it myself. Okay. Exchange of information is dangerous to somebody who's attempting to control. When you go to jail, the first thing they do is cut off your communication with the inmates. They cut it down. They can't talk to the outside because with information, we can side up. You see what I'm saying? So we got to keep everything. And anybody that's read, read any book, read The Art of War or anything like that, you know, the key to any, running anything is divide and conquer. You have to keep the people divided. You cannot let them pile up. Now with rap, we're coming in saying, well, with my rap, I can't speak on all rap, but I mean, with my rap, it's saying, if we slow down and take a look, we all got the same enemy, right? They don't want this connection. They can't have a connection. The, the biggest scary thing about the uprising was that there were white people involved in the uprising. That cannot be shown. I mean, I was out there. I come around the corner and ran into Queer Nation, tearing shit. On sunset, yo, I, yo, get with us. So I'm rolling with Queer Nation, right? I swear to God, me and four guys in a Range Rover. So I'm rolling with Queer Nation. They're wrecking shit, knocking windows out, you know, telling the police to back the fuck up. And they they stopped us down there by the uh by the who was we at? Who was we? Um, we we were by the Guitar Center, and they was posse kind of deep. It was like 2,000 of them, and uh. Then it was funny because the cops came, and then the cops had a, then a standoff. Then the photographers popped up, and my buddy was like, yo, I, she might not want to be in this picture, leave the queer nation. Then you have to explain that to the world. You know? I see. Please come out the closet. I was like, look. I'm straight, but they was angry, and I was down with anybody who was ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we was we just had a ball, but... You know, the, the whole thing of it is, is that communication has to be shut down. We cannot, you cannot learn that you don't hate me. You can't, I, I don't know how many people y'all ever met me or know me, but if you watch TV and you watch what they did to me on television, I'm supposed to come in here and pull a gun on all y'all, right? And try to scare you or something. But that's like if you took, took. Uh, Terminator and just showed one person a clip of the, of, the, of that scene where Terminator killed the police and don't even tell him that's a movie. Just say, what do you think about this guy? He's terrible. You don't know me. You know what I'm saying? So we have to fight to talk to each other. We have to communicate. We have to find out. I got to know about being Jewish. I got to know what it is to be Italian. You got to know what it is to be black. I got to know what it is to be... We got to under... That's the only way. You know? Because basically this is a love affair with people. And what is a love affair but an understanding? We have to understand each other so we can understand. And last thing, free speech, First Amendment does not exist. Get that out of your fucking mind, all right? There is no free speech. As long as you need some type of, of machine or vehicle to take your message someplace, forget it, all right? If any TV is taping this, fuck this, yeah, that shit just got bleeped. So I'm 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 anti all these people who run around waving this free speech flag and are censoring themselves. Like MTV, we're against censorship. They censor the shit out of every video that comes on there. They, you know, radio, newspapers. They can't write certain words. You're being censored. So why jump jump on somebody else? It's just a part of life. You're living in this country. You can't say anything you want. These particular books might be able to be read, but they can't be spoken on TV. 
and they can't be shown in their true sense in a movie because you got different rating systems, censors. So we are a censored, you know, pretty much country and life and just live with it. But we got to fight it. We got to fight it. And that's what I do. I push the threshold of censorship. I'm just like, I'm going to say whatever I want and let the chips fall where they may. And what did that do? It got me taken off of my big label. I'm no longer connected with the conglomerate. I got to do it myself. They might try to move on me again. And if I got to sell my records out of my trunk, I'm already prepared to make the actual tapes myself. We're buying the big machines and are going to make the tapes at our house, sell them at the swap meet. Because the underground is the only place where free speech is alive. That's it. Right here. Yeah. Okay, check this out. No, no, I'm going to build on that because this is not a new topic. Okay, check this out. Let me explain to you about my use of words first. Now, that was my girlfriend, and she was looking good, and a lot of people admire that picture. A lot of people know. I walk around the mess. See, let me explain something to you real quick. Let me get into word usage and stuff real quick. First off, I mean, we'll get into the woman thing, too. But first off, these words I use. I've yet to be able to define anybody, find anybody who could define the word profanity to me. I've checked and I've asked and I've looked it up. If you look up profanity, it says blasphemy. If you have blasphemy, it says irreverent. I challenge anybody in this room to tell me how the word shit is going to send me to hell. Let me continue. Let me continue. No, no, no. I'm going to talk about bitch. I'm going to talk about bitch. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the word bitch. I'm going to tell you about the word bitch. In the black community, I grew up saying bitch, fuck, that kind of stuff, okay? My daddy used to tell me, man, I, I could send my dick across the street, bounce off them four parking meters and fuck that. My mama would look at him and say, shut up, nigga, you got a little dick. Okay? Now, we in the ghetto, in the black community, throw a lot of words around that don't really matter and have that kind of thing. I say bitch all day with my girl in the room. She don't snatch her head around because I'm talking about a bitch. I'm a bitch sometimes. Bitch to me is somebody who thinks the world revolves around them in some, for some particular reason. It's a word that can be used on TV. Now, if I'm not talking about you as a bitch, you know, then I'm not really directing it at you. Now, you can get turned off and say, okay, well, it's offensive to me and all that stuff, but I'm not really aiming it at you. I'm aiming this the song at bitches, and there are bitches. Are there bitches? All right, then I'm talking about them. No, nah, the worst thing you can do is call a man a bitch. Well, the worst thing I guess you could do is call a woman a man, right? Yeah, but that's what the that's what the record is intended to do. It's a, it's a, it's an attempt to say something negative to a woman. No, I wouldn't say that because that's a blanket statement. I'm talking about that was no a bitch is a, is directed at a particular person. Well, you don't hear me. You can't see me, baby. You won't see it. Okay, let her explain. Maybe a sister can explain it. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm saying. Certain... See, see, and, and like I deal with sexism a lot, right? I deal with sexism in rap music a lot. I don't really, I am not sexist, I'm sexual. I deal with the shit straight up and how it is. If I thought, if I was sexist, I would think that you were below me, women don't deserve money, this type and all that old stupid shit. I believe that you're equal. Matter of fact, I think women are running the world. Okay, now. But I look at your ass and you look at my ass. Let's just get it out in the open. We want to fuck how life is. We are human beings. Okay, now, so I say that. Now, I think there's more of a division, not between men and women, but different gray areas of feminism. You have the women who will wear the mini skirts, the women who won't. The women who look at Madonna as degrading the women, the women that look at her as uplifting, the women who won't look in Playboy, the women that love to look in Playboy because they think they're beautiful women. That is the gray area in the fight that's going on right now. Men are pretty one-dimensional. Men want to fuck. No, I'm just telling you, and you should just thank me for that, because I'm letting you know men want to fuck. 
Yeah, but we're just like that. That's what kind of men. That's what, and if a man doesn't want to have sex with a woman, he wants to have sex with a man. But that also is a sexual response. Men are very sexual creatures. We're just on this earth and seek and destroy. We are some old different shit. We're dogs. You know, and these women are like, no, you're not. I met this guy and he's sensitive. Maybe he's good. He's just good at it. He's good at it. When I, but let me tell you, the bottom line, when I say the word bitch, I just use it to connect it with the real streets that I come from. If I had made the record 99 Problems and a girl ain't one, Marky Mark could have sung it and it would have went pop. I say bitch, it makes it street. That's all it is. It's just a word that's used in the hood. You want me to change the hood and change the way people say People don't like the fact I use the word nigga. I love the word nigga because to me the nigga is the one that wouldn't cooperate. You had the house nigga and you had the real niggas. And I'm a real nigga. You dig what I'm saying? I'm never going to be what you want me to be, master. You dig? So, I mean, yeah, nigga, whatever. It, don't, it mean, doesn't mean nothing to me. So I don't trip on the words. And if it offends you, I'm sorry, but it's not directed at you unless on that particular day you are being a bitch. <laughs> Oh, definitely. We got a, a new girl, 15 years old, named Grip, and she's coming out. Her album is going to be called Tales from the Grip. And on her album, she's letting the brothers have it. And you know, it's like, I listen to Salt and Pepper, and I listen to Queen Latifah, and she's like, I ain't no bitch. You know what I mean? I can take it. Just you got groups, bitches with attitudes, hoes with problems. You know, it's like, to me, it's like verbal jousting, and it shouldn't be taken so to heart. If it bothers you, just turn the record off. You know, that's all. I don't. I never could understand why somebody would listen to a whole album and be offended. <laughs> turn it off. As soon as I don't like something on TV, I change the channel. You know? It's for certain people. Okay. <laughs> that's what we did with the word nigga. No, but wet back in certain... But, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about racism. I'll tell you something about racism. I hate some motherfucking Jews. I hate some white people. I hate some uh, Asian people. I hate some black people. I hate some skinny people. I hate some tall people, okay? You see what I'm saying? I'm just putting people in categories. You dig what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily mean I'm racist, you know? So it bothers people. I mean, look, Axel Rose says the word nigga. Everybody got offended. Oh, he's so bad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, I make times I said white boy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't that. Racism is something, and sexism and that feeling comes from your gut heart. And you just hate, think every woman is a bitch. And I don't feel like that. Some are, some aren't. All right? That's the thing. Some men ain't shit. Most men ain't shit. All men ain't shit. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to, all right, what's up, sister? Neither do I. I don't smoke, drink, or use so. Right. All right, I can help you. I know exactly what you're saying. Let's make one point clear. All black people ain't the same, all right? I am a certain kind of black people. I probably would rob most of the people in here, including the black people, because I'm that kind of a brother. I grew up in that environment. I used to pimp, all right? I used to do the whole nine yards. So, therefore, I can only reflect what I am and speak in the dialect that I speak to the sister in the back. I hear you. Okay. Why are you? I mean, you're a student, 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 you
just a word. Right. So, it is just a word. So what does that mean? It means just how I told you. It could be a negative thing. It could be a negative thing. It could be a negative thing. You are a negative thing because you have not been a bachelor's life where he told you that we should be a negative thing. That was in a negative sense right there. Those was fighting words. Okay, don't get nothing started here. See, sometimes the words do kind of get in way, and it's. I, I, let me explain to you. I'm, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to break it down one more time to make you understand. I the base, the bottom line. Okay, all I'm. But I'm gonna deal with this part about the youth. Let me deal with the part about the youth because that's not only just bitch. It's violence. It's everything about rap. Okay. The, in other words, are these are these violent records conditioning kids into saying certain words that they don't understand? And then, all right, now, 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 I, now, let me break it down. First off, the problem with rap isn't even that we say the words. The problem with rap is that it's huge. Okay. Okay, well, rap is just people saying bitch. But no, if every guy on the street said it wouldn't be a problem, the problem is it's coming over the radio. And it's, and it's more programming, okay? But look, the, the, the question is, how do, we, how do we determine who it affects and who it doesn't affect? People say that the violent records are going to make kids violent, but there's kids that go to school and live a, a perfect life that it doesn't affect. Certain people need guidance. And there's a sticker on these records that say parental guidance suggested. That's the stupidest sticker in the world because parental guidance is always suggested. Okay? Now, I, my father used to curse and stuff, but I never cursed around him because I knew what was up. He busted in my mouth. But me, myself, I am an attempt, as far as rap is, is to stay as true to me how I am. I use the word bitch. I just came back from San Diego when we was talking, man, and the girls was acting kind of funny. One thing I got to ask is, what has created this kind of war between men and women? Because men are uptight. There's a lot of there's a lot of feelings of, of mistreatment and stuff. Because we like I was at college the other day and I asked the people. I said, okay, let's try this with the black women. You take a black man. This we want to see the anger. Why do we yell bitch so much, right? You take a black man, he becomes successful, right? Black sisters will say, well, yo, you'll run off with a white girl. There are more black men in prevalent power positions with women who don't have nothing. We'll go get a girl out of the project. No problem. My girl I'm with, she never dimes. She's Hispanic, Latina, right? Okay, bust it. It doesn't matter. But when sisters and, and women get into power, it's hard for them to deal with poor men. Women look upscale. Not all women, but some. Men are angry about that. They're like, what's the day he's going to come with his women will turn around and help the men? But you say, well, you're a man. Or we're women. There's a lot of problems going on between men and women. And I just look at it as female and male jousting. We will always talk shit to each other. You, I will always say, sister, you ain't shit. And you'll say, nigga, you ain't shit. And this is part of it. And this woman ain't, she wouldn't. You know, they say, what was the definition of bitch? The definition of bitch is a woman who fucks everybody but you. So she bitch. You know, it's like, it's like. We just see the words we throw out in anger. That's all. The effect. I just happen to know a lot of them, and I just know a lot of them, and I just talk about them because I know a lot of them. I meet a new one every day. I hear you. I hear exactly what you're saying. I know. It's the question of do I, but I, I try to. You know, make records where I show people in positive light, too. You know, it's just a word I use, and I use it fluently, and I can't lose it. And I think if I didn't say the word, I've done records where I've taken out the profanity. I've done them. I said, this is so fake. This ain't me. This is not me. It's like I'm not being me. So as long as it's in my vocabulary, I got to use it in my records because it's just being real. What's up, homie? <laughs> oh, she just came to cause trouble. Y'all wrote a movie with bitches all in it. Somebody grab her and take her to the back and whip her. She done messed up. No, I'm sorry, boo boo. No, that's all right. No. <laughs> and the way rap is the, is the other side of that TV show Cops. <laughs> you know, if you ever watch Cops, like, okay, we're behind him. Here he goes. Beat him down the street. But you don't never hear him talk. 
Rap is that guy's story. <laughs> That's what rap is. It's like the, the alter, the, we have to keep this thing going because the media will portray this way and we have to come back and say, no, no, this is why I did what I did. You know, uh, It's going to be portrayed better and better the more black people and people from the hood start making the films. You know, at this moment, I mean, there's been a, you know, the number of black films about the neighborhood have been, you can count them on hand. And, uh, it'll be portrayed more positively in some, and, uh, to be negative in some other cases, you know. I'm just with real, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I watch Spike Lee's School Days and stuff like that. That was real, you know, about being in college. I watched Men Society. That was real. And I think as being black, we just have to be able to be in contact with our positives and our negatives. People this New Jack City. I was about drug dealers. But we had a, a female lawyer. Every, for every negative person, we had a positive person in the film. Because being black, we are all those things. We are totally intelligent black people, and we are ignorant at times. Now, one problem is people say, well, why don't we just show the good side? But that's fake, and I'm incapable of being fake. That's my whole life, is just being saying exactly... I mean, people have been telling me, yo, man, go on the radio. And I can't go on the radio, man. They don't play my records. I'm going to tell you when I get on your station, you don't play my shit. You know, I'm not going to kiss ass, and I never kissed ass in this business. So, I think that your film and everybody else that does films and write books is going to just more or less portray the hood in its proper perspective. It has to be more and more people. My sister out there got to do her movie and let the brothers have it. And it's all got to be an exchange. But you got to remember, when you're dealing with IT, you're just dealing with one person's opinion. And who gives a fuck? But I'm, I'm just, and that's the name of the book, The Ice Opinion, Who Gives a Fuck? But it's from what I see. And I think by me letting you know exactly what I see, might make you a little insight about this other guy you see popping down the street. That's all. You got to do it. I'm waiting to see your film. I mean, I'm just really trying to set it off, you know. I'm in it? Ha! Ah. Damn. I'm in it? Am I? Oh, have I shot it yet? Cool, I'm in it. I'm in a new movie. What's it called? Let me start plugging my new film, Party Over Here. Black writer, directed by a very powerful sister, non bitch. Don't call her bitch, she will whoop your ass. And it's gonna be all right. Okay, cool. Party over here. I'm down. What's up? Leave her alone. Don't get her started. Don't get her. To go, girl. You go, girl. I hear you. But the attack came within the female circle. And that's where the war is. <coughs> Believe me, I could put a gang of feminist women in a room and y'all will fight till the night's over. It's not a it's, it's a whole bunch of different divisions of sexism. Because I speak to more feminists probably than you ever have, because I tour the world. I tour the world. I've been in in rooms with 2,000 feminists and spoke on the topic. I know probably more about being a woman than you might. <laughs> no, I'm just, but I don't know that much. I ain't cross dressed today. No, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But well, let me ask you a question. Do, does, do you like Madonna? No. Do you? All right. All right. How many million women love Madonna? Are they all stupid, or do they have their own opinion? I rest my case. Huh? I don't know. I'm not involved in politics or systematic bullshit. Right. No, I'm not degrading you. I'm degrading a bitch. You ain't figured it out. I'm going to call you a bitch in a minute. All right, let me get the homie in the back back there. Oh, uh, no, nah, where you hear that? The source, you can't believe the source. The source is at war with me, man. The source, no, nah, me and, yeah, Reginald Dennis, he's in trouble now. Read the new issue. He's, he's got Eric B and Hammer on it. Eh? But look, um, he's, he's and, and if you read the end of his last article, he sounded like he was a snitch, didn't he? He's like, I'm getting ready to tell. I'm, see, the thing about it is when stuff happens, right, be me, I see, I'm like in front of it, and I've seen it coming. I said, this dude, you're not being down with hip-hop, man. You can't kiss, kick hip-hop. Either down or you're not. They say in the source, they say, well, we're not 
down with people. But that's that's, they, that's what they mix up. The code of the street is you are down with somebody. And if you're down with me, you're down with me. And they're getting twisted. But me and Ice Cube are friends. And one of my best friends. And when he was younger, before he got his name, he had decided to name himself Ice Cube. And I thought it was the coolest shit in the world. And uh, that's my motherfucking man. No, B. Come on, be serious. Me and, I, me and Q. Okay, right here. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to go out like a bitch. Don't do it, please. Jesus Christ. It's cool, man. I mean, don't worry about it, man. I, you know, I take the sweat. It's cool because I understand it. I understand where it is. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. But see, the thing of it is, I'm a little bigger than that, and words don't really get into me. I went on tour with Perry Farrell. He got a record where he says, niggas, right? It's my best friend. You know what I mean? Yo, fuck it. He just said something. It's a word. You know, what's up? What, oh, what, what, new question. Uh, I had total control at Warner Brothers. Um.